right? Without any further ado, let's open our Bibles to Psalms 125. Those who trust in and rely on the Lord with confident expectation are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but remains forever. Hallelujah. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth even forevermore. Hallelujah. Right. So we are looking at a topic which says, my heart is after the Lord. My heart is after the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in Proverbs, my son, give me your heart. Hallelujah. Pay attention to what I am saying. My son, yes, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us also that uh, the people are uh, backslidden, that people are calling upon the name of the Lord with their mouths, just with the mouth. But their hearts are far away. Hallelujah. But you and me, as we fire the fire prayer, we cannot afford to just uh, fire from the mouth, uh, from the head to the mouth and, and we fire. We are engaging our hearts uh, we are giving our hearts to the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that's what matters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we don't... We, right. Okay. Let's move on with the scripture. So it says, those who trust in the Lord, those who rely on the Lord with confident expectation are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but remains forever. As Jerusalem is surrounded by mountains... So the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. That as we give our hearts to the Lord, we are now surrounded by God. We are protected by God. God gets interested in us. There is a scripture that I like. Right. It says, if you pay heed to my commandments... If you obey the law of the Lord and the commandments of the Lord to do them, right, then you will be loved by my father. And I will also love you. And then he says, now me and my father will pack our bags and then we come to you and we are going to make you our abode. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've just paraphrased it right there. But he says now, when we, we, me and my father will come and make you our abode. Hallelujah. That when we give our lives to God and when we give our hearts to the Lord, when we wholeheartedly surrender our lives to the Lord, God will, will, will come to our lives. And then we do the will of the Lord. Then we obey. It will be easy for us to follow the word of, to follow the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we surrender our lives and we are doing our devotion, we are praying, we find that we've got an enablement that comes from God to walk in his path. And then also God comes with his son, Jesus Christ, and he makes us his or their abode. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means their dwelling place. Hallelujah. When I saw that scripture some time ago, I was so happy. I was so, I was so excited. And I said, it, it means God, does it mean God can actually come to me and make me his house and his, his dwelling place? And then now he's moving with me, talking to me and everything. God who created everything, coming into me and making me his own house. It was exciting. Hallelujah. And that's what the, what the scripture says. It is, it's in, in John, I think John, I've forgotten, John chapter 13, maybe verse 23 or something like that. Right. Anyway, John, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things, fenced things, confined things and hidden things which you do not know which you do not distinguish or recognize, things that you have no knowledge of 
things that you do not understand. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we call upon the name of the Lord, as we are doing right now, as we are praying, then the Lord will show us great and mighty things which we have never known. Confined things, hidden things, things that we do not know, things that we do not which we have not distinguished, things which we have not recognized, things that we don't have any knowledge of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. So that the calling is from the heart in the name of Jesus. Psalms, I'm just scratching on the surface. Psalms 1, verse 1. Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans, and their purposes, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather. But his delight and his desire are in the law of the Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But his delight and his desire are in the law of the Lord. And on his law, the precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God, he habitually he habitually meditates. He habitually ponders and studies by day and by night. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the business of the heart. So our hearts are after the Lord. We, are, we habitually ponder. We habitually study the precepts and the instructions and the teachings of God by night and by day. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then now it says, now we are blessed. It means we are empowered to prosper. Why? When we ponder upon the word of God, when we study and habitually meditate upon the word of God, then we are empowered to prosper. We are happy. We are fortunate. We are prosperous. And we will not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. We are not going to take their advice or their plans or we're going, we are not going to walk in their purposes. We are not going to stand submissive where the sinners walk. Or we'll sit down and relax and rest where the scornful, the mockers are resting. Hallelujah. Why? Because the instructions of the Lord is in our hearts. The instruction of the, of the Spirit of God is with us. We are moving with the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost is, he is the gentleman that is moving with you and me daily, every day, every night. He is right here. We've got the angels of God also who have the law of God in their lives, in their mouths. And they are, they are guiding us and they are the agents that take action when we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he shall be like a tree firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we give our hearts and we are after the Lord with our whole hearts, with all of our hearts, then the Lord is going to make us like trees, that are planted by the rivers of water. And our root systems are deep down into the reservoir of abundance. Our root systems are deep down into the reservoir of the infinite supply of water. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what is happening outside. We are not moving according to how we feel. We are not moving according to sight. We are not going to move by fear. Because our root system deep down, we are rooted. We are rooted. It doesn't matter what's going on outside. We are rooted. We are rooted. Deep. Our root system is deep down in God. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's the business of the heart. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Right. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18 says that. But the path of the just is the shining light. 
that shines more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the middle of your heart. Hallelujah. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Hallelujah. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the outflowings of life. Hallelujah. For out of it are the issues of life, the outflowings of life. Keep your hearts with all diligence. Meaning that we are not going, and you know that scripture which says, which we read a few days ago, which says, for out of the superabundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever is in our hearts is what is going to come out from our mouths. And what is the mouth doing? The mouth is, is, is creating the things that we want or that we don't want. So if we are saying the wrong things from the superabundance of the heart, then we, 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 yes, we're going to eat the fruit. You remember? We're going to eat the fruits thereof. Right? For death and life are in the power of the tongue. Now, the tongue is speaking what is contained in the heart. So now our hearts have to be set in God so that we can say the correct thing. So that we can manufacture with our mouths the correct things. Right? The Bible says also, thou art snared by the words of your mouth. And Jesus said also, you are condemned or you are justified by the words of your mouth. And now the mouth is speaking from what is contained in the heart. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. So, so we need to have now to be like that's what the psalmist is talking about. That we are blessed. Actually, he says that his delight, his desire is in the law of the Lord. His desire and his delight are in the law of the Lord. And on his law, on his precepts, on his instructions and teachings, on the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders and studies by day and by night. Hallelujah. So now, yes, we know that the transactions in the spirit realm are carried out by words. We saw it, the power of words <laughs> the other time. That the soothsayers, the ngangas, all the native doctors, they program with their words in the, in, in the atmos, in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. And at the same time, they are just copying, they are copycats. They're just copying God. Hallelujah. God created everything with his mouth and he believes that. And therefore he speaks. We believe and we speak. Having the same spirit of faith, we believe, therefore we speak. Right? So what is this which you are speaking? We are speaking from the superabundance of the heart. Therefore our hearts need to be correctly placed. Our hearts need to be seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. There is a scripture which I've just skipped. Right? I've got two minutes maybe to, to, to check it. Right. This is, a, how did I skip that one? Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil, to give you hope in your final outcome. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then you will call upon me, and you will come and pray to me, and I will hear and heed you. Say thank you, Jesus. Then you will seek me, inquire for, and require me as a vital necessity, and find me when you search for me with all your heart. When you search for me with all your heart. Hallelujah. Right, and we know that in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says, For it is impossible to please the Lord 
without faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever comes to God must believe that he, he is there and that he rewards those who diligently seek him. So it's only the heart that can diligently seek something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The real things, the things that matter are driven by the heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. I almost say, say something. Right. Anyway, let me say it. That things that I want to do in my life, I have to drive them with my heart. Otherwise, it's a useless venture. I don't want things that I don't engage, that don't get, engage my heart. Hallelujah. <laughs> if I am to love my wife, I have to love her with my heart. If I am to love my children, I have to love them with my heart. Hallelujah. If I am to do a job somewhere, I have to drive it with my heart. Hallelujah. Otherwise, otherwise I'm, I'm not interested. Hallelujah. So the heart is important in our faith. So the diligence in seeking God has to be, it, 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 it has to involve the heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So he says that you will find me when you search for me with all your heart and I will be found by you. So God will make himself available when we search for him, when we seek him with all our hearts, God will make himself available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that these people are saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God, God, with their mouths only. But their hearts are far away. It's called hypocrisy. So a, 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 a hypocrite, an, hypo, an hypocrite, <laughs> a hypocrite is someone who has not engaged their hearts in, what, in their prayer. They're just doing it for sure. They're just doing it to be seen at the street corner. Like Jesus said, that these people are just doing it so that they can be seen, but they've got their own reward already, right? But we, even if you pray in the, at the street corner, but you are engaging your heart, you are not a hypocrite. You know what you are doing. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. Even if you pray in a restaurant, it's not hypocrisy. You are praying with all your heart and you mean it to the, to the Lord. You are giving thanks for the food that you are eating in the restaurant, which, which we, I do, which we do with my family. It doesn't matter where we are, whether it's KFC or Hernando's. I don't know. Yes, I don't know what restaurant in your area, right? But here, there is Nando's, there is this and that, right? But we, we take a minute or a, a moment to pray. It doesn't matter who is close to us. Why? We mean it with our hearts. Hallelujah. We sanctify the food. That this food is now safe to eat because we have said, we have prayed to God. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. So it's a matter of the heart in the name of Jesus. I was seeking the Lord. Yes, it's about the heart. It says, now my heart is after the Lord. So for all this prayer, everything that we are doing, it has to be a heart business. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer after me if you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you that you come into my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, I know you died for me on the cross. You shed your blood and you rose from the dead on the third day. And you conquered death. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of every sin and every transgression in my life. Yes, come into my heart and make me a child of God. Wash me from inside out and give me a new nature. Lord Jesus Christ, give me the power to follow you with all my heart. In the name of Jesus, you Satan and your demons, get away from my life. In the name of Jesus, I don't belong to you anymore. You Satan and your sins, get out of my life. I banish you and I, I break your powers. I paralyze your powers from my life in the name of Jesus. For I am washed by the blood. I've been cleansed by the blood. I'm a new creature, creature. Yes, by the blood of Jesus. 
I'm a new creation in the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, thank you that I am now your child. I have eternal life. I've been born again. Thank you, Father, for your love upon my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Let us shoot these prayers as far as we can go in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to pray this morning. Help me to pray a fire prayer this morning. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to engage, yes, my heart in this prayer that my situation may change, that my life will never be the same again. Holy Spirit, you are my teacher. Holy Ghost, you are my mentor. Help me to pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Say, I cover my environment. I cover my house with the blood. I cover my house with the blood of Jesus. I cover my prayer room with the blood of Jesus. Yes, I charge my prayer room with the blood of Jesus. And I bind up any distractions of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Say any power, any spirit that wants to distract me that I may not pray an effectual fervent prayer. I command you to be bound in the name of Jesus. Any satanic power, any witchcraft power that has been assigned to intercept my prayer this morning, I bind you and I scatter you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, my God, my Father, let the angels of war destroy every witchcraft coven troubling my life and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, let the angels of war destroy every witchcraft coven troubling my life and troubling my family. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, let the warrior angels of God. Yes, let them locate and destroy every witchcraft coven that is troubling my life. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft covens that are troubling my life. Catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft covens that are causing troubles in my life. I scatter you by fire. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft covens that are troubling my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft covens that are troubling my family. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, Say witchcraft covens that are troubling my marriage. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, let the warrior angels of God locate and destroy every witchcraft coven that is troubling my children. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft coven, every witchcraft meeting, every witchcraft gatherings that are troubling my life, scatter now by fire. In the name of Jesus, scatter now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witchcraft coven troubling my life, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my God, my Father, let your presence, uh, yes, come into my life. Uh, let your presence uh, manifest in my life uh, and cause uh, an earthquake uh, and destroy uh, every impossible mountain uh, standing before me tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my God, my Father, let the manifest presence uh, of Jehovah manifest in my life uh, and destroy uh, every satanic mountain uh, that is standing before me tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say every impossible situation uh, in my life, uh, I knock you down uh, by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, say every satanic mountain that has been constructed uh, against my life, uh, I command you uh, to be leveled up uh, by fire. In the name of Jesus, say every impossible situation in my life, I command you 
to be destroyed by the glory of God, be destroyed by the presence of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, let the presence of Jehovah in my life destroy every impossible situation in my life in the name of Jesus. Say, let the God yes, of impossibilities come and manifest in my life to destroy every mountain that the enemy has constructed against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you hindering mountains, hindering my progress in life, hindering my progress in life, hindering my destiny. I command you to be knocked down by fire. Be knocked down now by fire. Be knocked down now by fire. In the name of Jesus, say I use the bulldozer of the Holy Ghost to remove every mountain that the enemy has constructed in my face. In the name of Jesus, say I use the bulldozer of the Holy Ghost to remove every mountain that the enemy has placed in front of me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say my God, my Father, manifest your power in my life. Say, oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered. Let the, my, my enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, arise in my life and let my enemies be scattered by fire. Let my enemies be scattered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, arise in my life and let the enemies of my family be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let the enemies of my progress be destroyed. Let the enemies of my finances be destroyed. Let the enemies of my career be destroyed. Let the enemies of my marriage be destroyed by fire. Let them be scattered now by fire. Oh Lord my God, arise in my life and scatter the enemies of my family. Scatter now the enemies of my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Say every stubborn mountain standing against my life be reduced to powder by the rock of ages in the name of Jesus. Every stubborn mountain standing against my life be reduced to powder by the rock of ages in the name of Jesus. Let every mountain that is standing against me be reduced. Let them be reduced to powder by the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus, every mountain, every stubborn mountain that the enemy has placed in front of me, I command you to be reduced to powder by the rock of ages. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, let every stubborn mountain concerning my health, let it be reduced to powder by the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus, say, every situation with my health, let it be reduced to powder by the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus, say every sickness, every disease in my life, I command you to be destroyed by the rock of ages, by the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, say every ailment, every disease, every irritation in my life, I scatter you by the name of Jesus. I destroy you by the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, say every stubborn disease in my body, I scatter you by fire, in the name of Jesus, every stubborn disease in my family, I scatter you by fire, in the name of Jesus, every stubborn disease in my family, in my house, I scatter you by fire, I scatter you by fire, I scatter you by fire, and I scatter you by fire, in the name of Jesus, Say every satanic arrow, every witchcraft arrow that has been fired against my prayer altar, fail and backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every witchcraft arrow that has been fired during the day against my prayer altar, I command you to fail and backfire in the name of Jesus. Say every witchcraft arrow fired against me, against my prayer altar during the night, I command you to scatter by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, say whosoever 
whatsoever, any power, any spirit that is firing evil arrows against my life, I command you to be destroyed by your own arrows. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft powers from the village, witchcraft powers from the bush, witchcraft fire powers from the forest, witchcraft powers that are operating from the graveyard, witchcraft arrows that powers that are operating from the sea and firing evil arrows against my life. I command you to be scattered by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, your anger is just for a moment, but your favor and your mercies are from everlasting to everlasting. Say, my God, my Father, your anger is just for a moment, but your mercies and your grace are from everlasting to everlasting. Therefore, my God, my Father, do not hide your face uh, from me tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my God, my Father, your anger is just for a moment, uh, but your mercies uh, are from everlasting uh, to everlasting. Uh, therefore, tonight, uh, do not hide your face uh, from me uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God, my Father, your anger is just for a moment, uh, but your mercies uh, are from everlasting uh, to everlasting. Uh, therefore, Therefore, my God, my Father, do not hide your face uh, from me tonight. Uh, do not hide your face uh, from me tonight. Uh, do not hide your face uh, from me tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Say, my God, my Father, let your countenance uh, speak mercy upon my life now. Uh, let your countenance, uh, let your face uh, speak mercy upon my life tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my God, my Father, let your countenance, uh, let your face uh, speak mercy of, over my life, uh, over my family. In the name of Jesus, uh, my God, my Father, let your countenance uh, speak mercy upon my life. Uh, in the name mighty name of Jesus, uh, say, oh God, arise up. Uh, let your countenance uh, destroy uh, every stubborn affliction uh, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say, my God, my Father, arise in my life. Uh, arise in my family. Arise in my marriage. Uh, arise in my children. Uh, arise in my house. Uh, and cause your countenance uh, to destroy uh, every stubborn affliction uh, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say, you stubborn affliction uh, in my life. Uh, scatter now by fire, you stubborn affliction in my life, scatter now by fire, you stubborn affliction in my life, scatter now by the blood of Jesus, I defeat you by the blood of Jesus, you stubborn affliction, afflicting my life, afflicting my marriage, afflicting my health, I command you to be scattered by the blood of Jesus, be scattered now by the blood of Jesus, every stubborn affliction in my family, scatter now, disappear by the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, say my God, my Father, let the radiance of your face dry up the sweat of fruitless labor, labor, in the name of Jesus, say my God, my Father, arise in my life, and let your face let the radiance of your face dry up the sweat of fruitless labor in my life. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I don't want to toil for nothing. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I don't want to work for nothing. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I don't want to toil for nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I don't want to work for nothing. In the name of Jesus, Say, my God, my Father, let your countenance, uh, let the radiance uh, of your face uh, dry up uh, every sweat uh, of fruitless labor in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say, my God, my Father, let the radiance uh, of your face uh, dry up uh, the sweat uh, of fruitless labor from my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, 
Say every false god in my life, every idol in my life, making God to hide his face from my life and from my family. I destroy you by the blood of Jesus. Say every false god, every idol, anything in my life that is making God to hide his face from my life. I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my life that has taken the place of God in my life, I command you to crush now by fire. I crush you. I smash you. I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, say any idol, anything, any false God, any idol that I have now concentrated on and that is making God to, to, to hide his face from me, I command you to scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, say any man made God that I... That is causing God to hide his face from me. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any idol, any false God that is making God to hide his face from me. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any habits, any bad habits that are making God to hide his face from my life. I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Say, my Father, my God, manifest your glory in my life for fruitfulness in my life, for fruitfulness in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, manifest your glory upon my life. Manifest your presence in my life. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, manifest your glory, manifest your power in my life for fruitfulness, for progress, for advancement, for elevation, for promotion in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, manifest your presence, manifest your power in my life, manifest your glory in my family for fruitfulness, for progress, for favor, for blessings, for elevation, for promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I need you in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, I cannot make it without you. Holy Spirit, I need you in my life. I cannot make it without you. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Manifest your presence in my life. In the name of Jesus, say Holy Spirit, manifest the glory of God in my life. Say Holy Spirit, review Christ to my heart. Review Christ in my life. Holy Spirit, review Christ in my life. Holy Ghost, review Christ in my life. Holy Spirit, review Christ in my life. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, I cannot make it without you. Holy Spirit, I need you in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Ghost, review Christ in in my family. Holy Ghost, review Christ in my family, in my marriage, in my finances, in the name of name of Jesus. Say, Holy Ghost, reveal Christ to my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, Spirit my mentor, you my advocate, you my teacher, I pray that you reveal Christ in every area of my life. That you reveal Christ in every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, I need you in my life. I need you in my house. I need you in my career. I need you in my business. Holy Spirit, I need you. Yes, manifest Christ in my life. Manifest Christ in my career, in my office. Holy Spirit of God, I need you. I cannot make it without you. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Say, my God, my Father, 
Remove barrenness from my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, remove dryness. Remove barrenness. Remove frustration in my, from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. My God, my Father, remove barrenness. Remove dryness. Remove frustrations. Remove afflictions from my life. From my family. In the name of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, Show me your face uh, for joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my God, my Father, show me your face uh, for joy unspeakable and remove uh, bitterness from my life. Uh, remove sorrow from my life. Uh, remove bitterness uh, from my family. Remove sorrow from my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my God, my Father, show me your face. Uh, Show me your countenance. Show me your res res radiance. Yes, for joy unspeakable and remove bitterness and sorrow from my life and from my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, show me your face for glory. Show me your face of glory. My God, my Father, show me your face of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, my Father, show me your face of glory and your face of honor and remove shame and reproach from my life. Remove shame and reproach from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every spirit of bitterness that is trying to surface in my life, scatter now by fire. Every spirit of sorrow programmed against me, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of shame and reproach manifesting in my life, I bind you, I scatter you by fire. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of barrenness, I command you to scatter by fire. Every spirit of fruitlessness, I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of of the plunder, every spirit uh, plundering uh, the harvest uh, of my labor. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say every spirit uh, of fruitless labor that has been uh, programmed against me, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, you spirit of poverty, you spirit of toiling, uh, you spirit of uh, of working hard and nothing to show up in my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say every tokological spirit that is stealing the harvest of my labor, that is stealing my money, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say every con man that has been programmed to crook me, to steal from me. I command you to be paralyzed by fire. In the name of Jesus, say every con man, every thief, every robber that has been programmed to steal from me. You are a liar. I command you to be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus. Be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus. Say, my God, my Father, show me your face of glory. Show me your face of honor. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, show me your face of healing and remove sicknesses and diseases from my life and from my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say, I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth divine favor upon me, divine progress in my life, divine blessings in my life, in the name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm in the head, I'm not the tail, I'm on top, I'm not below, I'm above, I'm not beneath him. In the name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I receive divine connections, I receive divine contacts, I receive divine links, I receive divine restoration, I receive divine breakthroughs, I receive divine blessings, I receive divine favor, I receive divine open doors, I receive 
divine elevation, I receive divine promotion, I receive divine healing, I receive divine health in the name of Jesus. I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I am successful, abundantly successful. I am prosperous, abundantly prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I cover myself up with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family. I cover my marriage. I cover my children. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. Say, every witchcraft chain that was being used against me, every witchcraft chain that was being used against me, you are broken into pieces by fire. You are broken into pieces forever by the blood of Jesus. Say witchcraft chains of poverty. You are broken forever. Witchcraft chains of retrogression. Witchcraft chains of failure. Witchcraft chains of bitterness. Witchcraft chains of sorrow in my family. You are broken forever by the blood of Jesus. Say evil covenants that were working against me. You are nullified. You are overruled forever by the blood of Jesus. Say any curse, any hex, any jinx, any spell, any incantations, enchantments, and divinations against my life. You are overruled now forever by the blood of Jesus. Say manifest now. My divine glory manifest now. My divine progress manifest now. My divine testimony manifest now. My divine miracle manifest now. My divine breakthroughs manifest now. My divine open doors manifest now. My divine favor manifest now. My divine blessings manifest now. My divine healing manifest now. My divine health manifest now. My divine promotion manifest now. My divine elevation manifest now. My divine wisdom manifest now. My divine knowledge manifest now. My divine counsel manifest now. My divine revelation manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for the time we have had to pray. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your loving kindness. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the ability to pray. Thank you for the opportunity to pray. We praise your name, O Father. Give you honor. All the glory and the honor be unto you forever and ever. Thank you for answering our prayers speedily. Thank you for meeting the needs of your people. Yes, O God, speedily. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O God, for peace in their houses, for joy in the name of Jesus. And we cover them with the blood of Jesus. As they come in, as they go out, they are covered by the blood of Jesus. Even as they go to sleep, I bind any retaliatory spirit, any demonic power, any witchcraft power that wants to visit them in their dreams and attack them in their dreams because they pray the prayer, a fire prayer. I scatter them by fire. I scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your protection. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.